Okay. Um, wow. You go into this case thinking that you're investigating high-level drug lords for the uh, kidnapping and torture of a fellow DEA agent, Kiki Camarena. You later find out that the drug lords were only one part of a bigger system that coordinated, planned, and executed this man's kidnapping. Within the room of Kiki Camarena being tortured, there was DFS, which you say were created and trained by our CIA. There was a CIA agent. There were local federal police, as well as the drug lords themselves in the room torturing this agent. Do I have that correct? Uh, that, that is correct. Uh, the, 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 the participation of Mexican government officials uh, to the level of secretary of government the, the highest ranking Mexican uh, government official involved was uh, Manuel Barre Diaz, who was then Secretary of Government uh, for, for uh, Mexico. And, uh, and uh, as Secretary of Government, it's very important to note that he basically oversaw the, the, the Mexican Federal Judicial Police. Uh, he over, oversaw Mexico's DFS. He oversaw uh, the military. So this guy was like number three highest level officials within the Mexican government. So these people all planned it. The reason they, they, they I found out later, they, they went after Kiki was because there had been a, uh, basically a, an agreement uh, between the CIA and the drug cartels that they were used, they were, the CIA was gonna use the drug cartels smuggling routes to smuggle weapons south weapons south to the Contras. And that the reason that this coalition had come together was because the CIA was wanting to fund a war in Nicaragua that was not uh, approved by U.S. Congress. U.S. Congress, under the uh, Bolton Amendment, basically ordered DIA, which is the, the defense agency of our country, the CIA and our military, to stay out of that conflict that they were not going to fund the, the, the war in Nicaragua, meaning that they were not going to fund the Contras that were fighting against the communist regime of Daniel Ortega. So therefore, the, the CIA being denied, number one, funding of the Contras that were fighting against the, the communists in Nicaragua, and also denied that they should be involved militarily, they decided to do it secretly. So what do they do? They become partners with drug cartels to get money to fund the war, number one. And number two, they also need the cartels' routes to be able to smuggle secretly weapons from the United States South into El Salvador and into Nicaragua to the countries that were fighting, uh, to, the, to the countries that were fighting against the communist regime in Nicaragua. They told me that they had to do this because the Russians, the Cubans, and the Venezuelans were funding the Daniel Ortega regime, and they needed to help the Contras win this war. That was not authorized by our Congress, so they did it secretly. That's where this whole thing started. Camarena, through his investigations, stumbled on a ranch, on one of Caro Quintero's ranches, John, that was being used by the CIA to train Contras. It was a ranch in Veracruz. Kiki received information that tons of cocaine was being smuggled into this ranch. Kiki had no knowledge of Contras. He had no knowledge of CIA involvement. He had no knowledge of anything other than the fact that he had information that tons of cocaine were being smuggled through that ranch from South America and, all, and then trampolined over to the U.S., and he was starting to look into that. When they found out, meaning they are government and the government, government of Mexico, they were all working together to basically fund the war in Nicaragua illegally and get all those weapons to the Contras over there. 
when they found out that Kiki was looking into that, they decided to bring him in, kidnap him, bring him in, interrogate him, and find out what he knew, because they had to keep this very secret. Okay, our 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 government at that juncture was already in trouble because it was revealed that they were providing uh, our, our nemesis, the Iranians, with missiles. So they were already under investigation by Congress, the administration was. So now, if this was leaked out, that they were also getting drug money to support this war that had been denied by Congress, they were going to be in real trouble. So when Kiki, when they knew that Kiki had found out about this this operation that had gone in Rancho Veracruz, and I'm talking our government, our CIA, and the Mexican government, when they found out that Kiki was looking into it, they said, we need to pick him up and see what he knows. Now, the plan was not to kill him. The plan was to bring him in and find out what he knew. That's why when they kidnapped him in front of the U.S. consulate at 1 o'clock in the afternoon in plain daylight, when they, when they, when they kidnapped him after they, they, they got him in the car, he was blindfolded. He was blindfolded because the orders were not to kill him. The orders were to bring him in, interrogate him, find out what he knew, and depending on what he knew and didn't know, they might turn him loose. Well, they didn't turn him loose. They ended up killing him. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.